Welcome everyone. Um, thank you for being here. I'm Dr. Floyd Gomes and yeah, look, it's very special that we have uh, a few different people present today. This is being hosted as a webinar, which effectively means then we'll take it in terms to speak, uh, which we've worked out. And the first, uh, you know, we have a few speakers. I'll start and then I might hand over to um, perhaps Irene from Direct Chemist Outlet, and she'll introduce um, Kelvin, our new pharmacist at Atticus at Bangholm. And then we'll push on. Uh, we have uh, David Ronan, who is our new physio there, and also uh, Dr. Shashir Malgua, aka Shish, who is our new GP. And I uh, understand he has a patient with him now at Bangholm, so that's sounding uh, like a pretty good start for what is day one for Shish at Bangholm. So look, what can we say here? I mean, we have taken over the running of Bangholm, uh, which we did, I think, about uh, the start of July. As you all know, we started at the temporary uh, unit uh, on, on site. And then from the 1st of September, we moved into the actual clinic proper. That's been a lot of work to get it to a point where it's now completely renovated, which most of you would have probably already noticed and appreciated. I hope you like what it looks like. It's too late to change. Uh, hopefully it uh, does the trick. And look, yeah, we look forward to happy days going forward at Bangham. Uh, from my end, I can say it's been an absolute pleasure getting to know the existing staff at Bangham. And as we go now, ushering in new staff, uh, new connections, new possibilities at Bangham. And it's really about that, uh, that junction, that intersection um, that we are hosting this webinar to invite everyone who's been a, a patient at Bangham to, to, to enjoy the new clinic and make welcome and introduce various new members of the team, people who are coming on board at Bangham uh, including, as I described, direct chemist outlet, and particularly Calvin, uh, the new pharmacist there, and he can let us all know what uh, their plans are. David Ronan, the physio, who will be there twice a week at Bangholm, who is our in-house Atticus Health physio, and indeed, again, Dr. Shakir Malgua, who starts today and, fingers crossed, will join us somewhere sometime very soon. Uh, so without further ado, I might hand over to Irene to, to make a start from, from that end and uh, yeah, go from there. So Irene, I'm just about to make you the host. Great, and thanks and Floyd. That is it. Ah, there we go. Hopefully you can see me, is that okay, Floyd? Yeah, I can, and All I'll right. crack here and just see if I can make, um, out of interest, seeing as that work, no, it doesn't look like you can have too many hosts at Grace. one time, but let's have a go there. Yeah. Oh, great. All right. Um, well, I just want to start off by saying a really big thank you to Floyd, um, Jan, Brendan, everyone um, has been so welcoming for Direct Chemist Outlet to join this team, and we are so very excited to um, be part of this holistic network that's happening here. And um, we are looking forward to be able to provide um, a convenient service to all the residents here at, at Willow Lodge. So um, Direct Chemist Outlet is very excited to uh, be part of this team. Um, I'm Irene, like Floyd had mentioned, and I'm uh, a pharmacist myself. I work um, for all of Direct Chemist Outlet in uh, professional services. So I uh, help out with the services that we provide to our communities. And my, my favourite part of my role is being able to connect with the community. I love being able to organise uh, some fun health events and doing presentations. Um, um, to be honest, my favourite is actually face-to-face -face presentations more so than, uh, than these webinars. Um, so hopefully in the very near future, uh, after we get over this hump of, of COVID, I can come out and uh, do some presentations with Kelvin uh, and meet the community here at Willow Lodge. So looking forward to that. In the meantime, we will be uh, contributing to the newsletter 
and uh, if, uh, if you are all happy for us to continue with some of these webinars, we'd love to be able to do some talks uh, as well and um, even email them out to you. So looking forward to connecting with the community here at Willow Lodge. Uh, in terms of the actual service that we will be providing, uh, I will actually let Kelvin, who, like Floyd mentioned, is our uh, pharmacist manager at Direct Chemist Outlet in Dandenong, the Dandenong store. Uh, Kelvin will go through all the um, specifics of this exciting service that we can offer to all the residents. Um, we have also, just uh, before I pass over to Kelvin, we have left some uh, gift pouches with Jan and Brendan um, to distribute to you all uh, sometime this week. So uh, in those little gift pouches, there's some COVID themed uh, gifts like a hand sanitizer and a mask, uh, but it also has some information on how to uh, utilize this service that we can deliver to you, um, which is being able to drop off a pharmacy order by midday. And uh, if, all stock is available and all goes to plan, we'll be able to uh, deliver this order to you uh, by 6.30 that same day uh, free of charge, which I think is a, a really convenient service and hopefully um, you all will uh, find it very useful. I know the team here at uh, Direct Chemist Outlet Dandenong are very dedicated and excited to be able to um, service uh, Willow Lodge. So they're going to look after you very well, I'm sure. Um, so without further ado, I'll, I'll hand over to Kelvin, who's standing right next to me. Um, and Kelvin will go through a little bit about uh, the service and how you can utilise it. And uh, I very much look forward to connecting um, with this community, connecting with all of you, um, and hopefully having a, a cup of coffee or tea at some stage past COVID. So I'll pass you on to Kelvin. Hi. Um, thanks, Irene. Um, thanks, Floyd, for setting this up. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Kelvin, like Irene's mentioned. So I am the pharmacist manager here at Direct Chemist Outlet in Dandenong. Uh, a little bit about myself. So I've been in the pharmacy industry for probably about 10 years. I've been working for Direct Chemist Outlet here, uh, probably four years, coming on five years now. Um, so we, we have a small number of staff members. So I'll intro them. So uh, Lisa and Alan is our pharmacists that are apart from myself. We have four shop staff, uh, Tess, um, Mel, Dina and Neve. So a lot of the shop staff will be doing the deliveries. Um, I'll go through this in a bit more detail later on. Um, so a bit more about myself. Um, I'm expecting my first child, um, so my wife's due probably any, any day now in the next week or two. So on that note, um, I will be on leave for uh, three to four weeks, starting October 26th. So during that time, um, Lisa, she's our other pharmacist, she's lovely, she'll be our, your point of contact. Um, I've also got a couple of slides, which I'll bring up now, so hopefully everyone can see them. So give us a moment, we're just trying to share the screen. Floyd, are you able to see our shared screen? Oh, yeah, I am. Uh, it's looking good, Irene. I can see, yeah, yeah. where are we located? Oh, All good, Calvin. Just right. one thing, if you don't mind making, because um, you're the host, Irene Shish, a uh, panellist, when you get a chance, I think you just uh, oh. change your status there in the bar. Um, that's cool. all. Uh, but we can get to that if you change me as the host in between after Kelvin. All right, we'll do that. Yeah. Yep. Okay, yeah, Great. wonderful. I can see your Thanks. screen. Thank, Thank you, you, Kelvin. Thanks, Harry. All right, cool. Thanks, guys. Um, so first off, it's just to show you guys where we're located. So we're located in, so it's called the Village Dandenong Shopping Centre. Um, so it's roughly about 
no more than 15 minutes away from Bangham. Um, as you can see, we've got a couple of the maps up which show you how to get to us. Um, a bit more about the centre is, so the centre is quite new. It's been here maybe only five or six years. So same, same amount of time as the pharmacy. Um, there is a Woolies shopping, like uh, Woolies here. Also, it's got a Tats Lotto and a couple of uh, nice food retailers. So hopefully when this is over, you guys can come and check out the little shopping centre. the next slide. All right, moving on to the next slide, um, this will be a bit more info on how to how the delivery service and everything will work. So I'll go through it um, step by step. So first of all, um, everyone will need to sign up for an account. So this makes it, this is how we will charge you for the medications. Um, deliveries are free, we only charge for the medications. Um, so the first step would be to fill out an account form. So this will just ask for a bit of um, kind of personal information, name, address. Um, and then second, after we have the accounts set up, um, we can, you guys can decide on what prescriptions and even pharmacy items you guys need. So with the prescription items, um, we do have a, like an envelope and a form. So uh, what it'll be is sign and date the prescriptions that you want fill out the back of the envelope. Um, it'll be say generic brands, or if you want multiples of a particular item and just put as much detail as you need. So even um, if you needed something, say that's not prescription related, we can also provide that as well. Um, as Irene mentioned earlier, it'll be an everyday delivery. So Monday to Friday, we won't have this service on Saturdays and Sundays and also public holidays. So uh, the next public holiday will be Friday the 23rd, which is the AFL Grand Final public holiday. Um, so if anyone is dropping off scripts on that Friday, they will be processed on the Monday following. Um, so for the time frame of the drop-offs and deliveries is, so if you drop off a prescription on that same day before 12 p.m., um, we will get that to you same day um, after about 5.30 to 6 o'clock. Um, the other thing is, as an initial point of contact, um, for anyone that is setting up an account and prescriptions, I will be contacting you personally just to have a chat, uh, more to say hello and also to get a bit of info from you, say your medications, any allergies and things like that. Um, on another note is, say if we cannot fill your prescription for any reason that day, the prescription will go back to you when we do our deliveries. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, oh, sorry, um, just to mention, um, so we do have a little office in the medical clinic, which will have a DCO like drop off letterbox. So that is where you will put kind of your account forms, your prescriptions all into the A5 envelope and then drop them off. So that is quite secure and your personal details will be protected as well. Um, all right, moving on to the next slide is, um, I want to tell you a bit more about our medication or Webster packs. So we run off a system that's called uh, SureMed. So as you can see the picture on the right, that's what our medication packs will look like. So for this service, we offer it free, free of charge. We only charge for what medication goes in there. So you don't get charged for the actual packs of the service. So this is really good for some of our current patients who have say a very complicated like dosing regime, which they might have multiple medications three or four times a day. So this way it helps them manage their medications a bit better. Um, the other thing is um, if we do run out of prescriptions and things, I will contact the doctor directly. So it's kind of takes, takes the effort out of for you guys. Um, Apart from that, um, I'll finish up. So thank you for um, taking the time out to listen to this. I will pass you back to Lloyd. Lloyd, I'm just going to make you the host again. Uh... All right, that's great, all right. 
our mic uh, first. Yeah, that's great. I'll just, uh, you can also host this up to, you might just need to uh, let me share me. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's excellent. Thanks for that, thanks, Kelvin. Guys. Thank yeah, thanks, Irene. Thanks, Kelvin. Thank you. Uh, that's wonderful. And look, I really appreciate you guys coming on board. I think if, you know, it is very convenient to have a few things co-located in the one spot. And indeed, the building is big enough to allow for that. And, and getting that pharmacy bit right as part of that will go a long way. Yeah. Uh, I have been uh, dealing with Direct Chemist Outlet for what it's worth for some years now, and I can attest to their professionalism in the, in the way they offer their services. And indeed, uh, for the record, that's, that's why I contacted them at this point to be involved with Bang Home. Um, and uh, I'm sure, yeah, Irene, Kelvin, uh, you know, I look forward to that level of service and, and as does uh, do all the residents. And uh, yeah, thanks again for being a part of it all. Great. Right. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, okay. Thanks, Irene. Thanks, Kelvin. Thank you. Okay. See you guys. All right. Feel free to stay if you like. Uh, we'll be we'll be listening. <laughs> okay, no I'll, problem. I'll, I'll just uh, we'll just be in the background here. Yeah, no problem. I'm just going to now. What's the story? It's it's a dangerous button that says here Shashir allow to talk. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Dr. Shashir Malgra uh, is there in the background. But I think from recollection, I described the fact that we'll uh, move over to to David Ronan our physio to talk next. So I might um, do that and, and stay to true to form uh, according to our uh, somewhat ad-libbed agenda. Uh, David, uh, are you there in the wings? David? Yes, I'm here for okay. it. All good, all ready to go. So what I'll do is I'm going to make you the host. So uh, you can be in charge. And when you're done, if you flip back to me, that'll be great. Yeah, no problem. All right. And I think somewhere there your video show. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to get off this and uh, over to David Ronan, who is indeed, uh, yeah, our physio at Bang Home within Atticus Health. So thank you, David. No problem. Thank you, Floyd. And good afternoon, everyone. Nice to nice to see you all. Thanks for participating today. Um, so as Floyd said, I am the on-site physio here. Um, I've been with Atticus for a couple of months now. It's gone very quickly. And I have been at the Bang Home site uh, since we started in the first week of September. So I'm here two days a week. I'll be here Mondays and Fridays. Um, I've already had the pleasure of meeting a number of the residents, which has been great. Uh, we're getting a little bit busier with the physio each week as the government's made the restrictions about face-to-face -face physio a little less restrictive. Uh, so hopefully we'll keep getting busier. Um, in, in terms of what we do, we, we obviously see the care plans through the doctors, which is how I've met most of you. But you can also book up and organise your own private physio sessions as well. Um, I've been a physio for about 10 years. Um, I'm really passionate about keeping people moving, keep, keeping people exercising. But most of the residents who I've met, I, I can see that you like going out on your walks a few times a day. And I believe there's quite a few who get involved in the bowls as well. So I'd be really happy to try and keep you guys as active as possible. Um, we have a lovely allied health area at the back of the clinic for those who have been here. And if you haven't, it'll be good, good to show you. We have a little bit of space here. I have a little bit of my own exercise equipment that we can, we can work through some things with. And hopefully in the not too distant future, we'll be able to, um, to utilize the gym that I understand that's on site, but is locked up at the moment. Um, yeah, I don't think I have too much more to add other than look, looking forward to meeting you all. Um, yeah, and as I said, hopefully keeping you moving as, as well as possible. I'll hand back over to Floyd now. Okay. Uh, David, all good. Thank you for that. Um, so yeah, look, I, uh, I'd like to say that uh, I've, uh, you know, talked to David obviously over the last few months a lot and what I can say is very professional physio. Um, we really do believe at Atticus Health to get people moving in terms of exercising and really that physical part of 
of uh, your health is very important. And it's great to have once again, uh, what could be described as a, uh, you know, all in one or one stop shop occurring at Bang Home with some really quality practitioners, um, you know, and, and David again is one of those people. So uh, I'd say that if you do need any help with uh, any uh, injury or trying to increase your exercise, really consider seeing David because um, he really does know what he's what he's talking about. I did uh, a podcast with him last week and found some new things out myself and worked out why I've become, what's happened to me. <laughs> so it's been great, um, yeah, David, to, to really be a part of that. So um, now uh, I'm going to hand over to uh, Dr. Shashir Malgwa, who is starting today at Bang Home. And uh, without further ado then, uh, Shish, I'm officially making you the host, which is a, a dangerous thing to do, but I'll have a crack. So here we go. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, that's wonderful. Look at that. You've even got the real, um, you went out of your way to make it look like a doctor's room. I did, yes. I've got... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to, um, yeah, just shut up and, and get out of the picture here. But uh, Shush has, yeah, been working with us actually at Atticus Health for quite a few months since February, if I'm not wrong, this year. And uh, that was in an aged care capacity. And we're, we're very happy that uh, he's been able to start with us now officially in a full-time capacity, working indeed at uh, our clinics at Bangham and Karam and continuing that aged care work. So. Shish, over to you. Thank you, Floyd, for that warm introduction. Um, so I'd just like to say good afternoon to the lovely people of uh, Bank Home and our pharmacist colleagues and everyone joining us. So I was, I love the drive out here this morning. The sun was sort of shining in the car and I was thinking, oh, this is my first day at Bank Home. It almost felt like the first day at school when you get them little jitters in you. In your chest and pulling up I was like saw the sign and thought you know what I think I'm gonna enjoy this place where am I going with this story well my family migrated here about two and a half years ago from from the UK we're not 10 pound palms we uh, got a flight over but I've already seen sort of some of the residents passing by and could detect that there are a few British people in the area as well. So as Floyd mentioned I started working for Atticus Health about six months ago in an aged care capacity and I was working in in Elstonwick. Uh, I was working there four days a week and I felt something was missing and I came across Atticus in the aged care capacity and I'd seen what they've been doing in sort of the other communities of Carrum and the Peninsula and Hastings and Somerville and thought this is an organization that I think I'd like to work for and you know so far the experience has been positive I think Floyd's supported by sort of a, a great team and you know we're trying to sort of make a difference in the in the wider community and over the last few months they've um, acquired or taken over the the site here at Bang Home and you know everything's looking nice and place is great it's got a fresh look it looks clean fresh and crisp but also homely at the same time so I'm hoping that you guys obviously don't get sick but if you do then I'll be joining the team of Dr. Maxwell and Manchler and some of you might have met my colleague um, Carl um, who started a few months ago um, so I'll be working on Mondays uh, Tuesdays and also Thursdays um, and we see currently right now um, Bang Home's closed on the weekend uh, but just down the road about a 10 minute drive we've got our Karen clinic so we're all always available on the end of the phone pretty much seven days a week um, and over time if there is a need then you know I can look at trying to help uh, working on weekends if there is a need for that just going back to what our pharmacy colleagues were talking about earlier on with the blister packs and providing that sort of support and education for patients. 
coming from the UK where sort of home visits was part and parcel of our sort of GP life, I often found when we used to go to patients' homes, their cupboards were full of medication. They'd been there for years. Some of the expiry dates were 10 years out of date. And I think it's really important with medicine evolving that patients have an understanding of why they're taking their medicines and for what reason. And I think it's our job as doctors and pharmacists to realize that sometimes we need to take medicines out of the equation. So some of you might be aware that um, GPs and pharmacists work quite closely in trying to sort of adjust medications. And once a year, everyone um, is entitled to a what we call as a medication review, um, which is done by the pharmacist, the GP, and the patient. So I do encourage yourselves during this time, um, if you haven't had one in the last year, to have a chat with your GP um, and pharmacist about that, and we can be there to sort of help you. So, um, yeah, just looking forward to meeting you all. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about starting uh, at Atticus Health, in particular at Bangham and Karen. So um, yeah, I'm sure I'll see you all soon. And I will see how I give this back to Floyd. Thanks, Shish. That's great. I will um, I just say that, uh, you know, uh, at Atticus, we're very lucky we were able to stumble across people uh, who really do care about their patients. That's the, the fact of the matter. And uh, indeed, Shish uh, is one such person. Um, as uh, he mentioned, he'll be working between Karam and Banghom. And the advantage of that indeed is the ability to uh, see a patient uh, at Banghom and then follow through over the telephone or if um, they can come to, to Karam, they can do that. But the fact of the matter then is that uh, between those two facilities, it should be a case to be open seven days in some capacity. Shish, if you want, not that I really care, but uh, you may want to see if you can allow me to use my video. Yeah, uh, sure. Apparently, you're in control of that, despite my best intentions of uh, <laughs> uh, revealing my video. But um, uh, Shish? Yeah, is that better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not any better, no. Um, I will. Yeah, but uh, yeah, at the end of the day, it's um, if you go to my name there, Shish, if you say make me the host. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, have a go. There we oh, go. wonderful. Yeah. All right. But you can certainly stay on, Shish. It's, uh, it's good. Um, so, yeah, look, I'd just uh, say that I think that if we look at where we started again, I think it was about the 2nd of July, perhaps coming from that temporary unit, we're now assembling a team that really is very caring and committed to being home. And the extension of that, as I just sort of alluded to, is the fact that we can bring Karam into it to make that service at Bang Home in, in some ways actually a seven day operation, which was something a lot of residents did talk about when I gave my presentation in the public hall all those eons ago when we were allowed to do such a thing. So uh, I think it's uh, just a very exciting time uh, to be involved with Willow Lodge and Bang Home. Um, I don't have all the answers, but we're the type of people that are willing to take on commentary and take on ideas and, and see what we can change. These are, what, these are the things that we've thought of doing, but if you've got any ideas or feedback along the way, please, um, there are many different ways to deliver that. Simply just letting the uh, staff know at Bang Home is, is a great way. Letting Jan know at the village is another way uh, via our website, but we're always open, very open to uh, accepting and engaging with any feedback about how we can improve and the sort of things you'd like to see. Uh, on that note, you know, we have a room there if you haven't been, uh, called the MediShop, and that is our uh, attempt to bring some different rehabilitation products and the like uh, to you at the actual clinic. Um, if you have any ideas of things that you'd like to see in that space, 
uh, just tell us. Uh, obviously, it's not exactly full, uh, and yet uh, we'd like to see uh, more things there as we go. Uh, so if you want to give us any uh, input there about your ideas of what sort of products might help you, that'd be great. Uh, I don't think there's too much else for me to say. Um, I just think it's a very unique environment there at Willow Lodge and Bang Home and being part of it at as, as Atticus Health. And when I heard about the opportunity, I thought it was worthwhile uh, being involved with. And again, since we've started out, I've just enjoyed uh, getting to know different people there in the small ways I have and being able to allow the continuity of service that, uh, you know, Dr. Maxwell and Dr. Manchula um, and Donnie and Jess and Zarita at the time have all pitched in to sort of uh, allow to continue. Shish mentioned uh, Dr. Carl Fernandez, who I'd like to thank in somewhat his absence here to say, Carl, I think it's great that you were willing to take the plunge to be involved from the infancy, infancy of us starting up at Bangholm. And, uh, I think uh, it's uh, looking like an exciting time and, and hopefully uh, we'll see you there for a long time. Uh, there's not much else uh, to say. So on that note, I'd probably just uh, hand over to anybody else who is on the panel, uh, if they'd like to have any final words uh, before I wrap this up. Um, yeah, so Irene, I might say um, to you, would you like to say anything in parting? Um. I just, like I said, I'm, we're very excited to be part of this network, Floyd. You've been um, amazing to, to contact. And um, I know the team here at, at Dandenong um, are all geared up and ready to go. So our first uh, pickup will be tomorrow. Um, so just after midday, they'll, they'll do the first pickup and delivery. So we're, we're ready to go. Um, the team here is all, all set up and excited. So... Um, thank you to everyone and, and also Jan and, and Brennan as well. Everyone's been amazing to um, communicate with. So uh, we look forward to um, seeing how we go. And like Floyd, like you mentioned, you know, this is, um, we're definitely open to suggestions and, and working with everyone to make it the best uh, possible experience. So thank, thank you. Thank you very much. And that was a question on the tip of my tongue. When do you actually officially start delivering the service? So. Uh, that's that's great. So to be sure that is from tomorrow itself. Yep, tomorrow. So tomorrow um, our uh, staff member will, will pick up uh, any orders um, and they will definitely be there every single day checking that letterbox. Um, so if any orders are there by midday, uh, you would expect a delivery that same day. Um, and like Kelvin mentioned, if there is any issues with the prescription, sometimes it might be a new medication or there might be a query or there might be a stock issue. Sometimes with COVID, we have had a few stock issues. All the pharmacies have. Uh, but if there are any issues, uh, Kelvin will try uh, first to make contact via the phone. Uh, and if they can't reach uh, you, then uh, your scripts will be delivered back that same day. So uh, there won't be any confusion with what's happening. Okay, terrific, terrific. That's very good to know. And thanks again, Irene and Calvin, for being a part of today. I might leave this video actually up, provided everyone's happy to do so on our uh, YouTube site so that other people who haven't been able to join us live today can access it uh, from the village. Great. That's great. Uh, thanks, Floyd. That's okay. My pleasure. And uh, yeah, we look forward to working with you. Likewise. Uh, and David, uh, David Ronan, if you're, if you're there, uh, any parting comments from your end? I am excited that, um, that we're up and going and I'm looking forward to meeting sort of more and more residents each week as we get a little bit busier with Physio. Terrific. That's great. And as you described, David, yep. The, uh, restrictions are one way or another, uh, sort of, um, easing and indeed the sun's out exactly <laughs> which yeah. makes it a nice time of year to think about being active so thanks again david and i'll um, talk to you soon and yeah if anyone wants to see david uh, by all means you can see him directly in that private capacity at bang home or you can if you are eligible see him via uh, a care plan 
by uh, asking your GP about that or your GP indeed will, will let you know about that if it's relevant. Uh, and uh, so then finally, Shish, uh, thanks for uh, being a part of today. Um, I mean, I just, uh, we just heard you talk, but any parting words of wisdom before we wrap up? Parting words of wisdom, that's a good one. Uh, keep it professional, please, Shish. <laughs> well, yeah, we just, some patient was uh, asking me today about um, your five sort of health points. And um, we had a talk about this the other day. And uh, one important one that I think we often forget is about sleep. So I was reading an article the other day and we talked about this. And I just wanted to reiterate to everyone that sleep is more important than eating. Okay, so I just want you to all make sure you have a wonderful sleep because it's extremely important. And I think we often forget about it, how important it is. It's more important than eating. So I'm going to leave you on that note. That's wonderful, Shish. And you've just made it clear to me that I've got to get some pillows into the mini shop. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely joking. But thank you for, sh for sharing that, Shish. That means I'm not going to yeah. sleep after my afternoon lunch, though, just in case you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> not today, but, not today. Uh, yeah. thanks again for that shish and i'll catch up with you soon it's great yeah. to have you start officially today at bang home and um yeah uh, i'm sure it'll be a, a very prosperous uh you know coming months for the remainder of 2020 uh so without uh pleasure uh without too much uh, else to say i'm gonna wrap it up there and uh yeah very motivated to make it a fantastic clinic at Willow Lodge. And thank you all for being a part of today and anyone who's uh, participating, watching, listening. Like I said, we'll put this on our YouTube channel, which I'm sure Jan will be able to steer you towards. And I look forward to catching up with you down the track in person. Thanks all.